Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. It's like they don't want to feel anything but they can't let go of you. They're still holding on is what I'm getting if I look at the rest of your spread. Wow, okay, how they're viewing you? We have Ace of Wands upright, Five of Wands in reverse. Okay. Well, they're physically very attracted to you. That is for sure. Why is Ace of Wands here for how this person will be viewing Sagittarius? Death and others. Yeah, very possessive when it comes to you. Some of you are dealing with someone who is overtly... Uh, yeah, I was about to say possessive, controlling, you know, always suspicious. Who are you talking to? Where are you going? Is very suffocating. And they're realizing they can't control you. You're your own person. You can't control the Queen of Wands. Why is Ace of Wands here? Yeah, this person. <laughs> so maybe this is sexual frustration. If you haven't... Yeah, that's what I'm getting. If there hasn't been anything intimate here they do want that they desire you physically to the point it's a bit overwhelming why is five of wands in reverse for how this person will be viewing sagittarius king of cups tower scorpio some of you are avoiding this person and that is how they're seeing you you don't want drama, you don't want any arguments, so you may be avoiding this person, you may be avoiding confrontation, this person may be very unpredictable, they may have a temper, right, with King of Cups Tower in reverse, you never know what to expect. Some of them feel that you're um, dealing with other people and they feel very jealous if that is the case. How they're feeling about you, we have Ace of Swords, Three of Wands. Some of you, this person's waiting on communication from you. Why is Ace of Swords here for how this person's feeling about Sagittarius? Yeah, they want communication. They want to speak to you. Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius. But some of you are dealing with, can be someone who is at a distance, but someone who is very inconsistent. Um, this can be a player, King of Wands in reverse. You know, grass is greener on the other side mentality. Or it can be it's fire energy in reverse. Again, that situation where someone was very possessive, overbearing, right? Can't even have a temper. Why is Ace of Swords here? Strength. Yeah, it's they desperately want to speak to you, but they're holding back. They want you to initiate. They want you to reach out. There's a lot of passion coming through for whoever you're dealing with. Why is three of wands here? Why is three of wands here for how this person's feeling about Sagittarius? Judgment moon, secretly wanting a second chance, secretly waiting for another chance, secretly waiting to hear from you. That is what I'm getting, but some of you have cut the situation out. You're saying it's over. You've turned your back. You're done with this person. That is coming through. Eight of Swords, yeah. Released yourself, and that is causing this person a lot of anxiety. Nine of Swords. Their intentions, we have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Cups. I don't see commitment. You both are avoiding commitment here, or there may have been, say, a family situation, and you both split up, and this person's having a harder time letting you go. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here for this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? Why Ten of Pentacles in reverse? They're non-committal. Was it that situation where I want to have my cake and eat it too? Five of Cups, Star. Or they're healing from a divorce, a breakup. Whether that was with you or someone else. But there was an ending to a friendship, no communication. And this person's very sad. But they'll continue to watch you, pay to swords the world, online, worldwide, web. That is how they keep an eye on you. Why is the Page of Cups here? 
Swine's Page of Cups here for this person's intentions. Some of someone, some of you, if it's an ex, a past person, they, they're coming back around to say um, that we can fix things, we can work on this, I've changed. But I don't think they have. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Some of you have a secret admirer, someone who's secretly crushing on you, and they're watching you from afar. Some of you may be already committed. That is why this person can't, you know, come towards you. They feel their hands are tied. There's someone here who that has secret feelings for you, is what the cards are picking up on, which is why they're holding back strength, hoping that you'd say something. What action they're taking towards you, we have Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're acting like they're not interested. Four of Cups, moody, detached. You wouldn't even know that they still harbor feelings for you. They're trying to hide how they're truly feeling. Wow, yeah, look at that. Queen of Swords in reverse, Knight of Pentacles. This is an energy that's keeping an eye on you from afar and they're yeah, silently observing. They're not communicating. They're in full armor here, very guarded. And it's almost like standing in one position, not doing anything. Some of you is just is say it's secret admirer or not. It's just someone who's saying, you know, you can come to me. I'm patiently waiting for you to reach out. That is also coming through. How you're feeling, Seven of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you don't see stability with this person. In the Seven of Swords, he is looking back at the Queen of Swords, but you're sort of moving away from the situation. And I was getting that for how they're viewing you, that you may be avoiding this energy. Why is Seven of Swords in reverse here? Some of you could be avoiding commitment with a Harfit. Or you may be avoiding this person because you're already committed or they are. Right? Something about that. Four of Swords. Yeah, you're not communicating. You're staying true to your beliefs. The higher self-respect. Why is Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? For how Sagittarius will be feeling. Why Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Well, these cards are difficult. Five of Pentacles, yeah, I was feeling this. Some of you might be concerned about your finances, right? And that is your focus. You don't have time for this petty, you know, this pettiness, really. You have stuff to get done, and that is your focus. Your home, your stability, building a solid foundation for yourself, Hierophant. I'm not playing games with you. Seven of Swords in reverse, which is why the outcome of Fallout, Lovers, Empress in reverse, you're saying, I don't think I see us working long term. I don't see expansion. I don't see growth here right? And it's two major arcana. Kind of, there may be some external factors getting in the way as well. Why is Empress in reverse here for a Sagittarius outcome? It, it's all about work for you. That is what is your focus. Second house matters. Building a solid foundation for yourself. Four of Wands in reverse. You're focused on peace of mind, your happiness, building. Uh, for your future here. So your priority is yourself. This person's outcome, they're still waiting around. Look at them. Hangman, Eight of Cups in reverse. They're emotionally clinging to you and they're patiently waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for. Why is Hangman here? For this person's outcome. Yeah, they're very restless since you've gone quiet on them. Why is Hangman here? Five of Wands. So weird energy. Why is Hangman here? Nine of Wands. This is someone who appears like they're letting go and they're moving on, right? That they're not wanting, they also don't want drama. 
but they're secretly still stressing. Some of you, they're holding on, if they've done you wrong, right? They're holding on to a lot of guilt, which is why they're having a hard time finding closure or just moving on in general. Why is Eight of Cups in reverse? Three of Swords, heartbroken, sad, disappointed, very moody, fantasizing, daydreaming about you. Wishing that you'd reach out, you'd contact them. It's a very sad energy here in their outcome. What is the energy? This jealousy is making me want to rush in. Don't be surprised if I get a little too overprotective. I want you to myself. Yeah, but it's a little too much. They're doing a little too much. And the Queen of Wands cannot be controlled. You're your own person. I'm getting this person was very controlling or just difficult to deal with. Very insecure when it comes to you. What is this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? <laughs> you have to make a choice. Choose who you want to make you happy. I need an answer from you. Some of you, this person was putting pressure on you. And if that is the case, you're choosing to be by yourself, right? You're choosing to avoid this person. Some of you, it can be even a new person that you're getting to know and they were just doing too much and you pulled back your energy. You don't, you're, you don't want to deal with it. It's in your hands if you want to see us move forward, but I've done my part now. It's your turn, which is why we are seeing waiting energy. But if they're waiting on you, I don't see you doing anything, which is why three of swords, disappointment, right? They're wanting you to reach out, but you're not doing that. I'm putting on an act to get what I want. I don't know what they're doing. Probably playing silly games here. I'll continue to play your silly games. It's quite endearing. You know, to see if you'll chase them, what you'll do if they weren't to communicate. Silly games like that. And you're not chasing them, you're not doing anything. What advice? Taking you for a ride? Interesting. Careful not to be taken for a ride and waste your time chasing lies. Take control of your love life and realize you're good enough to deserve better. Yeah, you're on the right. Oh, and look at the yellow on the motorcycle and her pants. And we have the yellow. Interesting. Yeah, I see you being confident. I think you already know what's going on, which is why you're not wanting to waste your time. What advice? Lead the way. Very empowered energy. Wow. We have, instead of falling into such situations, realize you have the power to pick and choose which men, women, are worth your time and energy. So yeah, perhaps you have a lot of people vying for your attention. You're sort of having to filter through the frogs, and this may be one of those frogs who is wanting to control you and you're saying no, right? You're turning someone down here because you know what you're worth, you know what you deserve. It's also taking responsibility for your choices here as well in the past, right? And knowing um, and learning from your past mistakes is coming, come through, collaborate and freedom. Uh, you can't be controlled, you can't be tied down. The horse is coming through. We have without freedom, there is no creation. Let your spirit take flight. And that is exactly what you're doing, right? We have the lion and the horse here. They are protected. We have keep an open heart and mind. Collaborate with people you can learn from. It doesn't have to be a solo act. Some of you, th that is a friendly reminder, right? There's plenty of people that are in your corner wanting to support you that you can lean on. So you don't have to do it all on your own, right? If there's something to do with finances, um, ask for help if that is the case. If it's too much, maybe um, needing to prioritize or be afraid to reach out for help is what they're saying. But yes, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.